What's happening people? I am back in the kitchen again and today we're doing something a little bit different. There's a new exclusive brand at Iceland and it's from the famous Sidemen. Now, they have got a lot of options in this range so I advise you all to go check it out yourself and because what I've chosen for me and the girls today is probably not what everyone would choose. Obviously I've got to uh, cater to their, their tastes. I could try out. They have different things. I will go into that later, but let me show you what we've got for today. Like it says in the title and the thumbnail, we're doing 24 hours eating only the Sidemen foods. So we've got breakfast, lunch and dinner. Or breakfast, dinner and tea if you're from where I'm from, here in Yorkshire. So come down here, have a look what we've got and uh, what we're starting with. So what you're going to see at the end of this video is this crispy coated mega feast box it's got southern fried chicken wings strips and bites with fries barbecue sauce and hot garlic sauce so that's going to be our our tea basically um and we're probably going to throw some of these sides on we've got 32 mini hash brown onion rings there is some chili cheese nuggets which will just be for me and then for lunch we're probably going to have these salt and pepper barbecue chicken wings with crispy fried onions so they all look good but for breakfast we're going for this. This is the best cereal, apparently. This is what it says. Choco Crunch. Now, they do have this in a caramel version, which I would have probably preferred. But, like I said, I'm catering to the girls as well in this little challenge. So, they're going to have this as well. So, as usual, I put them first and uh, I'll just eat Chocolate Crunch cereal. I'm not a really big chocolate cereal guy. That is the um, nutrition there, if you want to... Pause that and have a look. 109 calories per um, per 30 gram serving. It's a source of fibre, low in saturated fat, added vitamins and minerals. Disclaimer, apparently we have to make it clear this is just our opinion and not a proven fact, but give it time. I think that means that this is the best. You can uh, go to Best Breakfast. Tell, us what they, tell them what you think. <laughs> First edition founders box. I don't know what that means. Made by Mornflake, created by the Sidemen. Mornflake has been making top quality breakfast cereal for almost 350 years, so we think we're pretty good at it. Actually, we think they're the best. That's what's in this thing. If you want to pause it and have a look. And that's the nutritional information there. Wow, look at all that. Suitable for vegetarians and vegans is this. Obviously, not all this challenge will be. But it is what it is, so let's get these made. The best chocolate cereal. Okay then, let's give this a go. The best cereal. How do you like your cereal? Do you like it to be, uh, as it comes out of the box, or do you like it to go a little bit softer? I, I, I like it probably just halfway between soft and crispy. Don't want it soggy, if that makes sense. All right, let's give it a go then. Here we go. The best cereal, apparently. <laughs> We will see. Hmm. Definitely crunch, yeah. Chocolate crunch. <laughs> Don't know what we're expecting. It's like a cross between shredded wheat and cocoa pops. But like crunchish with curry wheat. It's decent. What will be the teller? Will it turn this milk into chocolate milk like Cocoa Pops does? I do think that I would have preferred the caramel one. But it is what it is. Decent. As cereal goes, it's pretty good. I give it a, 
And now I'm not the biggest chocolate fan, so it'll be interesting to see what the girls um, think of it later. Um, and I'll tell you that at lunchtime because they're still, still in bed. It's currently Sunday morning, and you guys are going to see this tomorrow. And football's coming home tonight, England versus Slovakia. Might even put a little clip of me watching it at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, this cereal, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's not bad, as cereal goes, especially when it's not my um, my usual go-to style cereal. It'll be interesting to see the um, caramel one. And maybe I do another side men day where I eat the other half of what they provide because, like I said, they've got quite a range of these products. Anyway, I'll see you guys at lunchtime. I'll go finish my choco crunch with my cup of tea. And we'll be getting into them barbecue um, wings. Oh, actually, there's also, what I did miss off, they have a range of sauces as well. You've got sweet and smoky ketchup. You've got ultimate barbecue. And chicken shop sauce. Now, full disclaimer, I've had these for a while and we've actually opened these. And this stuff, well, wow. So, I'll see you at lunchtime. We'll get further into the more Sidemen uh, meals. Okay, so it is lunchtime and... We're going to go with these salt and pepper barbecue chicken wings with crispy fried onions. And it says on it, air fry in 17 minutes. So that is what we're going to do. You can, of course, oven cook them in 25 minutes. But crispy fried onions, barbecue salt and pepper. I thought there were two different flavours, to be honest. Salt and pepper wings, barbecue wings. We will see. It's got a barbecue glaze. So you've got gr uh, sides grief proof paper as well. So let's let's open these up and have a look. We're going to have them alongside these 32 mini hash brown onion rings. So it has got potato and it has got onions in. But hash browns have got onions in, haven't they? So we're going to go for that one. And they air fry in 8 minutes. So they're 8 minutes and these ones are 17 minutes. And we're going to try some of these sauces that I showed you at breakfast time. So, I'm going to get them in this uh, in the air fryer. In fact, come down here and have a little look at them. So this is the salt and pepper barbecue chicken wings. Side men approved. Let's have a read. Let's see what's what's all about. So, like you can see there, air fry in 17 minutes. It says, 108 to remove more packaging. Remove the crispy onion sachet and place to one side. Unopened sauce sachet in a bowl of hot water. Place in the air fryer, and then it says to serve. Drizzle the glaze over the wings and top with crispy onions before serving on the sides. Logo greaseproof paper. And if you want to pause it for the um, ingredients and nutrition, you can there. So the little 425 grams and a little information says sides salt and pepper barbecue chicken wings with crispy fried onions. Cooked chicken wings in a barbecue marinade. With a sachet of Chinese style salt and pepper sauce and a sachet of crispy fried onions. Oh, that's interesting. So they actually, they're already, so they've got a barbecue marinade on, but they've got salt and pepper sauce. Interesting. Okay, like I say, pause it for your allergens and all that sort of thing. We'll have a look at these as well. It's a little bit harder, but we will try. That is the ways to cook there. Obviously, air fry. It says turn halfway through, but you just give them a shake up, don't you? Approximately 32 in there, 420 grams, formed shredded potato and dried potato with diced onion pre-fried. 44% potato, 30% onion, 9% potato flakes, oil, onion powder. There's not too much in that. And that's the nutritional information. If you want to pause it, let's get them cooking. Okay, so these are your little onion ring bites. Look at that. So we'll get, smell quite nice, hash brown onion ring bags. So we'll get the whole bag, all 32. I'm not sure if we're going to get 32, but it says approximately into one side of the kasori. Eight minutes, remember. Let's open these. I do have a little tab there. I don't know if that's to put it back in the box or something. Yeah, maybe it is. So you've got like this box, you've got some sides grease proof paper sachet of crispy fried onions, Chinese salt and pepper sauce, and then your little bag of wings. 
two, four, six wings in there. That's all. I will run through all the prices at the end after we've had it, it all. Um, but yeah, so we've got to cook these. So these are like barbecue wings. Already cooked with like a barbecue marinade on them. So we get them in the other side of the air fryer. Six. Now that's a little bit of an issue because I was planning on doing this between three of us. So I might just have one wing and a, and a few hash browns and making giving the girls more. I'm not too fussed. Crispy fried onions. Chinese style sauce. How long was that like for? 17 minutes. Right. So I'll get this cooking in the air fryer and we'll get it to sink cook so they finish at the same time and we'll serve it on this greaseproof sides paper I think that goes back in there so this is like a a wing box so you can put that in there serve your wings on it I don't know we'll see right I'll bring you back when they're ready okay so there we go it's ready so Barbecue wings as they are. Now I have just done four because I don't think Dino Daughter's going to like this salt and pepper um, sauce. And Mrs. Dino might not, but we do have some Iceland's own barbecue wings in the freezer if she doesn't like this. So, And then I've put a lot of the hash browns there. So you're supposed to drizzle this over. I have had it in a bowl of hot water. Drizzle this over. I'm not going to put too much on just in case I don't like it. You do get plenty though. And then... You've got to add some crispy fried onions. So they just could be a salt bay, onion bay. <laughs> I do like crispy fried onions to be honest. So, there we go. What do you think to that? I'm going to get a few, a squirt of each of these to try and we'll have a taste. Okay, so it's all important taste time. Now, I'll be honest, this looks like you could serve it in a restaurant. I've done a fantastic job. Um, I'm going to try the hash browns first because these are going to be a little bit sticky and a bit messy. So I'd like to just end up the video, well, the lunchtime bit on these so I can go wash my hands and clean up. Right, we'll try one of these hash brown onion rings on their own. That is them, nice and crispy. They've got a massive onion flavour and that's why they're not just called hash brown rings I suppose because they're actually, they actually taste like onion rings but without the actual onion in it like as in when you bite a battered onion ring and the whole onion comes out it tastes like an onion ring but yeah this is a really good product mm. Nice and crispy on the outside but really soft hash brownie it's like a very very strong onion hash brown really nice right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try these sauces as well now so the first one i'm going to try the ultimate barbecue this one here try that is the middle one here quite thick on there i don't know if it's going to focus anyway Very, very sweet barbecue flavour. Um, it's got a bit of a kick as well. You guys know that I I do like barbecue sauce, but I, it can get too much for me. And that, I think that would. Sweet and tangy, it certainly is. It's a nice sauce. Right, we've got the sweet and smoky ketchup sauce here. Next, we're going to give that one a go with one of these hash brown bites. And it does look darker than a normal ketchup. See if it focuses this time, yeah. It does look darker than normal ketchup, but not quite as dark as a barbecue. It 
It's definitely more smoky than a, uh, than a normal ketchup. Really quite nice. I prefer that over actual ketchup. Right, now, last but not least, chicken shop sauce. And this one's a sweet, tangy and smoky. So this, I don't know what the, the colour is. Like mustard, isn't it? Right, let's give it a go. Oh, this one's a lot thicker. A lot thicker. Look at this. I don't know if this is going to pick that up, but it is a lot thicker. Wow. Oh, wow. That is my favourite by a long way. Look at this sauce. <laughs> Look at that. I've filled in the hole. It's absolutely... That's the one for me. This is a special sauce. Right. Now we're going for these barbecue wings with the Chinese salt and pepper drizzle and the crispy fried onions on top. Let's go. Look like a nice... I have um, did get four... I know they're not drumsticks, but they look like the drumstick part of the wing. But you get four of them and two flats. Now I haven't put any of the, the um, Chinese drizzle on the two flats. Because Dino daughter prefers the flats and I don't think she'll like the, the drizzle. So just have them as barbecue. So I'll give this a go though. Let's just straight into it. Yeah, that salt and pepper sauce is very, 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 very strong. It was overpowering the actual barbecueness of the um, of the marinade on the on the chicken. It's nice chicken though. One bite, I'm going straight through to the bone there. The big juicy wings. There's no real elegant way of eating wings on camera, so I apologise if it's a bit disgusting, but. Nice flavour. The um the the Chinese salt and pepper style sauce. It's not spicy or anything like that. It's um it reminds me of a teriyaki sauce. So alongside that barbecue, the crispy fried onions don't really make much of a difference. Although I didn't I didn't put lots of them on. Still got half of the bag. I think feel like you need more sauce for them to stick to because they just fall off. But Overall, yeah, I like it. I'll give the wings an 8 out of 10. The onion rings, the hash brown onion rings, a 9 out of 10. And these sauces, 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. 10 out of 10. That one is fantastic. Right, okay, so we've got the chili cheese nuggets to try and the mega feast box, which is southern fried wings, some some dippers, some um, nuggets or whatever it is, and some fries. So we'll, I'll bring you back at tea time for that. We're going to go watch England, uh, and that will probably be after tea. So we'll know the score. You guys will obviously know it because it's coming out tomorrow. Come on, England. All right. See you at tea time. It's coming home. We've, we've done it. In the last minute of normal time, in the first minute of extra time, Come on, England. We still believe. Roll on Saturday. Right, it's tea time. We have got crispy coated mega feast box by the sides. This says southern fried chicken wings, strips and bites with fries, classic barbecue sauce. I'm not sure if that's going to be different to their ultimate barbecue sauce. And a sticky hot garlic sauce, which obviously they don't sell in bottles, but looks decent. So we've got some chicken wings, some chicken strips, some popcorn chicken, chicken bites, and some chips, and a couple of sauces. And I'm also going to bang on these 10 chili cheese nuggets. So, and we've got the sauces. So what I'm going to do, I'll, this is quite a big box, so I'm not sure I'll be able to, well, I'll probably be able to get it in air fryer. Um, so I'll probably bang it all in air fryer, and I'll bring you back when it's ready. In fact, no, we've got to come and have a look at the boxes, haven't we? I'm getting excited because football's coming home. Okay, so this time I'm going to start with these chilli cheese nuggets. They do have a spice rating of 1 and they air fry in 8 minutes. 
that is all the information if you want to pause it 240 grams it said sides chili cheese 10 nuggets mozzarella and soft cheese nuggets with red and green chili pieces in a seasoned breadcrumb coating and uh, yeah so you've got 36% mozzarella cheese 7% green chili 7% red chili hopefully they're not too spicy it does stay suitable for vegetarians like I say, 8 minutes in the air fryer. Or you can oven cook in 11 minutes. So that's the nuggets. Nug nugs. And we've got these. Mega feast box. Now this, I'll be honest, was very, very expensive. I'm going to go through the prices at the end. And it does say air fry there in 26 minutes. So, well, there's a lot of information on here. So, I think the best thing for you guys to do is pause that and have a look if you want to. It's one kilogram of chicken, this. So... I'll have to have a look at these ingredients, um, instructions, and we'll see what's going on because there is more sides, grease proof paper, and all that. So it says Southern fried chicken wings, cooked chicken wings in a Southern fried style coating, Southern fried chicken strips, cooked chicken breast in a Southern style fried coating, and you get the picture. So chicken bites, and then the potato fries, pre fried, thin cut potato fries with a seasoned coating. So these are seasoned fries. And you've got classic barbecue sauce and a sticky hot garlic sauce, which seems a bit interesting. I'm going to get these open, get them cooking. And I'll bring you guys back when it's all done. Wow, look at these. These chilli cheese nuggets got some got some size on them. So what I will say, in this mega feast box, the chips you get, that is all the fries. That is it. A little bag of fries there not a lot there there is some wings you get three six we've got seven wings in this box here seven southern fried wings three six seven like southern fried strippers in these bags and then you've got some they look bigger than popcorn chicken but there's three six nine twelve in there so I'll get them all cooking and I'll bring you back when it's done and we'll have a taste because obviously this is a 24 hour video so it will take some time and I appreciate everyone who is watching still at this point. It does mean a lot. Don't forget to like it if you do like it and subscribe because we're on the road to 15,000 now. Right, I'll bring you back when they're done. Okay, so if you are one of the people like I would be that didn't bother pausing it and reading the instructions, the um. The wings have gone in for seven minutes. Then I add the chicken strips for a further seven minutes. And then we add the fries and the chicken bites for a further 12. So it'll, the wings are actually taking 26 minutes, which is what it says on the uh, on the pack. So that's for the wings. Whereas these the strips will take 19 and the fries and the bites only take 12. So I'll bring you back when it's done. Okay, so it's all ready. We have got just pan you down a bit there there are the chicken wings the southern fried chicken wings like i said i'm only having a couple of each just to try um the girls are having most of it because i've got all the chili cheese nuggets they're the southern fried tenders and these are the like the nuggets and over here we've got some fries now like i say i'm only having a few because there wasn't a lot of them so i've given the girls basically the rest of them and i have got three chili cheese nuggets on here now i'm hoping that these are not too spicy but it is what it is and then i've got of course the three signature sauces let's try these right let's give them a taste let's start with the fries now they did say there was pre-fried and seasoned so i haven't put any salt on mine um let's have a go they've definitely been pre-fried in oil you can taste that um they're nice and soft on the inside crunch on the outside but there's no season in there. Definitely to have salt. These must these are these tenders and the bites are obviously going to be pretty similar because they're just different sized chicken versions of each other. So we'll give this a go on its own. Southern fry, remember. definitely not like too spicy or anything like that they're not gonna give, they're not giving me like um hot wings vibes or anything they are pretty bland if i'm honest 
obviously that Southern Pride seasoning is there. I'm guessing that this is going to be the same, just in a bite-sized version. Yeah, although I feel like the chicken in there is better. And then you've got these wings. I'm going to use two hands for the wings. So we've got these nice, these look, now they feel a lot crunchier on the outside, if I'm honest. We had the uh, barbecue wings at lunchtime, obviously, different kind of wings. These are like, well, they look like hot wings, don't they? Yeah, I like this, this style of wing better with a, with a coating. These have got that hot wing um, texture, but not hot wing spice. These are going to be okay for people who don't mind the spice. Chicken's nice, cooked nicely inside. Everything's cooked really well. The um, the instructions on there, spot on. Um, right, so that's all what was in the mega feast box. Obviously, there's a lot more than what's on here. The girls have got theirs. But I also got the chili cheese nugget, so I've got 10 of these to polish off at some point. I've just got three on my plate here. These have got a spice rating, so you can see the cheese coming out of there. We've got a cheese pull. You can see inside there we've got red chilies, green chilies. And like a couple of different cheeses. It's not hot at all. A nice cheese pull on the bite. A little bit of a tingle on the tongue, but not much. What these are gonna um these are gonna be complimented with is this chicken shop sauce. Wow. Oh, That chicken shop sauce is next level. I, even, even if I never buy anything from the sides again, I will be having a bottle of that in my cupboard for as long as they make it. That is an absolute banging. I can't get enough of it, honestly. Straight on the nugget. Beautiful. Mm. Ten out of ten, that sauce. Um, overall, what do I think to this? It's okay. Is it superb? No. Um, all the southern fried tenders and the nuggets are just they're just basic. The wings are quite nice. Um, I'd like a little bit more spice, if I'm honest, a bit more towards the hot wing end of scale, but is what it is. Them chili cheese bites are very, very nice. Not too spicy for me, which obviously you guys know. I'm a bit of a wuss. The fries are what they are, they're just fries. You don't get enough. Now I'm going to talk you through the prices of all these items. Well, in fact, no. I'm going to eat this first, and then I'm going to come back and talk you through the prices of all these items. This is where it gets interesting. Apologies. Before we get into the prices, I forgot about the um, hot and sticky garlic sauce and their classic barbecue sauce, which came in the Mighty Mega Box. So we'll try them now. So I'm going to start with the uh, the barbecue sauce because I'm not trusting <laughs> the hot garlic sauce. So this gar this this barbecue sauce is a bit thicker than the um, the bottled sauce. Let's give it a go. Oh, oh, I don't like that. That is not very nice. That is. It tastes funky, it tastes watery. It looks thick, but it tastes I don't know, it tastes like it tastes like it's gone off. I don't I don't know, it tastes so sweet. It's strange that, but I don't like that. It's not a nice barbecue sauce. This is the honey garlic sauce. This looks like chili sauce if I'm honest. It's got like it's got bits in it. It looks like look at that. This looks like it's going to be spicy. Yep, that's spicy. 
it's got it's got a nice flavour, but it's not got a nice aftertaste. It is um, hot on the tongue. It's very watery, but it does stick to your your chip. I mean, I prefer the hot honey garlic sauce over the um, that classic barbecue. I don't know what the need is for that classic barbecue because it's nothing like the bottled ultimate barbecue. This one's made way better. But as you're expecting, this one is levels above them all. Right, let me go finish this and then we'll come back and I'll uh, go through the price. Okay, so that was okay. Um, but the cost will surprise you because it's a lot. Especially when you consider this is just one day um, and... I have done budget week for cheaper than what that cost me today. But it's something different. It's obviously a new range. And I thought instead of doing like five or six different kitchen reviews, I thought I'll just do it all in one day and we'll just we'll just have a side men day. Cost. The cereal. The best cereal what we had this morning. Cost two pound a box, which is not too bad to be fair, for a 375 gram box. Not too bad. Um, the sauces were two pound also a bottle. Now... I wouldn't pay that for the barbecue or the ketchup, but for the chicken shot one, like I said, I will be doing. The chili cheese nuggets for 10 were £3.50. Um, the mini hash brown onion rings were also £3.50. The salt and pepper barbecue chicken wings with crispy fried onions were £4. Let's remember, you get six in there. For four quid, there were six in there, four pound. The um, mega box, feast box, this thing, I've folded it up for recycling now. But that, so what did we get in it? We got, just, just finished it, we got, I think we got seven wings, seven tenders, I think 12 nuggets and a few little fries not a lot a couple of sauces which weren't great 10 pounds 10 quid just for that box total 29 quid we do have a few bits left obviously we've got all the sauces left and we've still got like quite a bit of the cereal left would i try this stuff again probably not um it was okay they're all seven out of ten products really but the chicken shop sauce wow I'll definitely be getting that again. All the rest, probably average out about 7 out of 10. Just on flavour. I think the southern fried flavour was lacking a little bit. They do have actual restaurants, so I'm betting that that's probably a lot better. Maybe I go to one in the future. Maybe I go to the Box Park one at Wembley for the uh, Euros final, which England might be in. Because it's coming home, remember. Right, okay, that wraps this video up. Uh, we're out and about again, again tomorrow. Going to a nice country pub in Bingley called The Brown Cow. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I know this one's been a bit of a long one. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, let me know in the comments if you've had any of these sides, items, or if you've, had, if you've got any of the other ones that you think I should try um, because they do have a few other ranges. See you tomorrow.